Hello my friends, this is Petro from Gulian Technology. Last time we discussed FTP. I showed you how you can install it on a Ubuntu machine and how you can transfer files between different hosts. We used VSFTPD. In this tutorial I would like to show you how you can exploit VSFTPD. For this we will use Kali Linux, we will use Metasploitable 2 which is a VM which is compatible with VMware and VirtualBox. It is designed for testing common vulnerabilities. You can download the image from here and you can install it on your lab and use it for exploiting different for testing different vulnerabilities. In our lab, I will use this network diagram. So we have two virtual machines. One is running Kali Linux and has the IP address 192.168.1.156 and our target host which is the Metasploitable 2 VM it has the IP address 192.168.1.180 Both machines are connected to the wireless access point via wireless. If you prefer to read please visit gulian.uk now I will open the terminal. In the first step we will run the nmap command to find more information about our target host and we will check which services are running on the, our uh, target host. If you want to find more information about nmap, run the command man nmap. As you can see, Nmap is a network exploration tool and security port scanner. We will run Nmap with the options dash SV. When running Nmap with these options, we are looking for open ports and we determine which services and which version of the software is running on the target host. So, as you can see from the network diagram, our target host has the IP address 192.168.1.180. So we need to run the command nmap, specify the option dash s capital V and add the IP address of our target host and press enter. Now we need to be patient because this command takes some time. In the output we need we will see the serve the open ports on our target machine and nmap will try to determine from the open ports which services are running on the target machine. From the output as you can see there are quite a few, of, of a few ports opened and the target host is running quite a few services. We are interested in VSFTPD. From the output we can see that the target host is running VSFTPD the version 2.3.4. The FTP service is running on TCP port 21 and the state of the port is open. So this means that we are able to connect to the FTP. The next step after we identify the the, we explored the target host and we identified the services which are running on the target host. We need to, to we need to look to the database uh, which contains the exploits. For this, we'll run the command search exploit. But first, we'll run man search exploit. So, search exploit is a command which is looking through a database with exploits. It has some options that you can add and with which you can run the command. We will use the option dash M to copy the exploit to the current working directory. I will press Q now to exit from the main page and I will run ls. As you can see I don't have any exploit in the output right now. I will run search exploit. I will look for the VSFTPD because this is the service that we have identified on our target machine and we are, uh, we are looking in the database for the exploits for this service. As you can see search exploit 
found in the database a few of exploits. We are interested in this one and we'll copy this script to our local directory. We'll copy it with the command search exploit dash m and we'll specify the number uh, for 9757.pi. So you can you have the out the number of the script here. So I will run search exploit minus m and specify this number and press enter. This command is copying the script on my local directory. I will run a less and as you can see I have it in my local directory. Directory will uh, run the exploit on the target host. For this we will run the command python free. We will specify the script, the python script and we will specify the IP address of the target host. We will press enter. The first time when we run this command it is giving an error connection refused with as you can see we have a connection refused message here and we'll run the command one more time this time we see a success message and it is written that the shell is opened in order to verify if there is a remote shell opened to this host i will run the command who am i and as you can see i am the root i can run the id command and from the ID output, we call we also confirm that I am root. I will run the command IP address show to be sure that we are on our target host. And from the output, as you can see, the target host we are on the right target host because it has the same IP address 192.168.1.180. So this is all that I wanted to show you. And I wanted to let you know that it is very important to check frequently for the updates, to run, to check if there are any updates and update the software to the latest version because older versions can be vulnerable to exploits. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and until next time. Bye.